In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a rear brake job on a Grand Prix or Monte Carlo. This is a 2002 Monte Carlo. Um, we're going to be replacing the rotor, the caliper, as well as the pads. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the video where uh, we do one side. I'm going to show you how you would replace the rotor, uh, caliper, and pads. When we go over to the other side, what we're going to do is just... Uh, you know, we'll do it as if we're just replacing the uh, rotor and pads. So if you're not going to do your your caliper, I'll put in the comments or in the um, description below where you can skip ahead to and uh, just see what what uh, process it is for that. First thing we're going to do is just take a big C clamp and just release the pressure on those calipers. You'll see the caliper slide out and just enough so that um, what will happen is when we undo the mounting bolts, we'll be able to pull this off. It won't be tight up against the rotor. So these caliper mounting bolts, they were 13 mils. I've just gone ahead and uh, sprayed them with some penetrating oil. Just while that's soaking, I'm going to take an 11 mil and I'm going to remove the, um, the brake cable. Okay, so there will be a couple copper washers on there. We're going to replace those anyway. Okay, we'll just position that brake cable up so it's not uh, dripping fluid everywhere. So I've gone ahead and completely removed the lower bolt. Just doing the upper one now. Okay, that's out. Your caliper will just slide right off. And sometimes the uh, rotor can lock up to the hub like that so just a few pounds with a hammer but we'll get that right off okay so just a couple taps pop that off it's a good time to check your hub make sure that's all good you can inspect your parking brake shoe and if everything looks good next thing all you have to do is just install the new rotor Okay, so when you go install your rotor, just check. I don't know if the camera will see this or not. Probably not, but there's a little L right there that indicates it's the left side rotor. You know, if these ones are um, slotted so and drilled, so they, they are directional. Just going to go ahead and install that, and then we'll grab our caliper. Um, I'm going to go uh, set that up, show you what we do to put the pads in it, and then we can go ahead and install that. So on your caliper, there should be a marking as well um, as to if it's the left or right side. This particular one does not have it, but what I'm going to do is just match it up to the old one. So my bleeder screw is right here, same as on this one. If I take my other caliper, it's off on this side. So this is going to be my left side caliper. So at this point, I like to go ahead and install the pads into the calipers. We've got the caliper, um, the pad brackets, I should say, mounted into the caliper already. The piston here is pushed all the way back. In the event that this piston is out a bit, take one of your old pads, put it on here, and just do the same trick with the C-clamp, just to clamp that back. On these pads, you'll see one has this um, wear indicator. That's going to go on the back side in this case. So what we're going to do is go ahead and lube this pad. Just going to smear some brake lube here and then put it into the contact points as well where it's going to slide in the, um, the caliper bracket here. Okay, so I've got that guy lubricated. Then we can just go ahead and slide this in. It'll be a little bit tricky at first to figure out which way to, to get it in there. And once she's in, you're just going to kind of lift up these um, tabs here and just make sure it's sliding back just like that okay then we'll lube up the uh, front one do the same thing okay so we've got both sets of pads in there just kind of want to straighten them out so when you go ahead to put it on your, um, your rotor you'll have a gap in there Okay, now we can take this to the car and go ahead and install it with the two mounting bolts. Okay, 
once you get the top one snugged up, kind of comes or kind of helps to kind of come in from the top and then just feed that other bolt in. Okay, so I've got the bolt in the bolt hole. I'm just going to move the caliper out till I feel it grab. You can go ahead and tighten it down. And we'll take our 13 millimeter socket and tighten that down to the torque spec. Okay, so once you have that all secured up, you got to do that uh, brake line uh, connection again. Uh, in this one, there was a plug. If you have a plug, just pull that out. So you're going to go ahead and grab your brake line. Now, you're going to see one of the copper crush washers is stuck on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove that, and I'm going to install a couple new ones. Next thing you're going to want to do with your brake line, take a new crush washer, clean up the front and back surfaces first. Put a crush washer on each side. Come down to how it's going to be positioned. Just go ahead and snug that up. Make sure it is locked into place with this little keeper here. And then you can go ahead and tighten that down to spec. Okay, so this side's done as far as the, um, the hard parts go. Now what we need to do is bleed the brake lines. Okay, so I've got the bottle on the floor. I'm just going to go ahead and put my wrench on. I'll stick on my hose and then I'm just going to grab a zip tie and put that on there to, uh, to hold it in place to ensure no air gets in there. Okay, so I got that zip tie on there. Go ahead and position my wrench and just loosen that off. And then go ahead and pump the brakes a couple times and we should see fluid start to come out. Okay, so as you can see, we've got fluid coming through there. So what I'm going to do just uh, pump a little bit more through there just to ensure that we do have nothing but clear fluid. It looks pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and tighten this down. So you can see we still got a lot of air coming out here. What we're going to do is just pump the brakes a few more times till all of that is bled out. So essentially what we're going for here is just a hose just completely full with no air bubbles or no air pockets like this in it. Okay, so on this side, what we're going to do is just replace the rotor and the brake pads. Um, so I'm not actually going to do anything with the brake line. What I'm going to do is uh, basically follow the same steps, but when we remove the um, rotor, what, or sorry, when we remove the caliper, what we're going to do is just um, move it up into this position. And what I usually do is zip tie it or use a, um, like a heavy duty zip tie or a, um, a wire. You can use a coat hanger. Just fish it through there. Just uh, take strain off of the just take strain off of the um, brake cable here, and then attach it to the coil spring. Hold it up out of your way. You can put your new um, rotor on, and then uh, put your uh, pads into your caliper, and then go ahead and install that again. So what we're going to do to start, just like we did on the other side, is just take a big C clamp. 
and just push those guys all apart. Then we'll go ahead, I like to use a little penetrating oil, and we'll remove the two bolts that hold the caliper in place. So what I like to do when I'm doing this is just loosen, you can start with the top or bottom, it doesn't really make a difference. Loosen one off, I usually like to uh, loosen the top off first then go to the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and unscrew the caliper. Okay, so you can go ahead and pull that off. And you just kind of want to twist this so you're not putting any strain, especially, you especially don't want strain up here. So you can kind of go ahead and just set it up back in here if you want. Um, you can go ahead then remove your rotor, install your new one, and then just uh, pop your pads out and bring this guy back on. What I'm actually going to do is just leave those pads in there, put the new rotor on, and um, just open the caliper up with the, um, the bracket bolts, the slider bolts that hold the, the pins there. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and verified that this is the right hand side or passenger side. Go ahead and install that guy. And just come back down. You can go ahead and reinstall that caliper. Okay, so once that guy's snugged up, uh, the bottom bolt, this is the top one, but we're going to use the bottom one. And we're going to go ahead and loosen that off so we can swing the caliper open. Okay, so because I am replacing the caliper, I've gone ahead and replaced that. But assuming this is your old caliper, what you want to do, just come down here and loosen off your bottom bolt here. Okay, you can go ahead and slide that out. Okay, and then from there, your caliper will just flip open like this. You can then go ahead and remove your two pads. Again, taking note of which side the, um, the squeal indicator is on. And uh, go ahead and then replace your, your new pads. So personally, I like to go ahead and remove the clips, uh, especially if you have the older ones. Again, this being a new caliper. These are new clips. These are ones that came with the caliper. I like to go ahead and put the ones on that come with the pads. I don't know that it really makes a huge difference, but I just want to make sure that they fit properly. So you can go ahead and install those. And especially if they're old, you definitely want to go ahead and replace them. So when you're buying your pads, just double check that you are getting a new set. If you are not, you're going to want to go ahead and, um, and get a hardware kit is what they usually call these. So this is the squeal indicator I'm talking about. So this brake pad will be the back side. And before we go ahead and put that in, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some brake lube on it. And I'm just gonna go clean my hands before I spray, uh, spread that around. Also gonna put some in these little grooves here. That's where your caliper is gonna slide up along these uh, pins. Okay, so I've got that spread around there. I'm gonna go ahead and position my pad. Just make sure it's clipped in. Then we'll go ahead and do the same for the front. So you just want to make sure those are seated properly in there. And what you may have to do is as your caliper comes down, just slide it in a bit. Okay, 
section just like that. And then this boot at the bottom, just make sure that is set correctly. You should then re-lube that bolt. Okay, and then once you got that one tightened, you're gonna go ahead and loosen this one, slide it off, clean it off, and then put some uh, lithium grease on it. I've already done that in this case. So then just go ahead, grab your torque wrench, torque those back down to spec.